everybody, it's Bunny, and if you're new here, welcome to my naked face. Do you like it? Naked face, naked hair, and I got my sweet tea, and I'm in my jam jams, and this is kind of like a sleepover party. Except for the fact that it's not an actual sleepover, because if it was a real sleepover, I'd probably be at your house telling you horrifying ghost stories at 3 a.m., and then your mamas would never let me come over again. It's happened before. So, I am so excited for today's video. I went to my P.O. box today and I had this brown box in there and it looked like it was from a company and it was. It was from Air Curler. Oh my god, have you guys seen that infomercial? You do not even know. If you follow me on Twitter, I'm sorry because I'm like an infomercial addict and literally I'm constantly tweeting about infomercials at like 3 and 4 a.m. If you follow me, you know this. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm always just like watching these things for 30 minutes at a time and I'm like, does this thing actually work? This is like my first infomercial product ever and I don't really know who sent this to me anonymously, but a huge giant thank you to whoever did. The only person that I saw mention it on my Facebook page was a Swamp family member named Adam. So did you send this to me? I don't know. I have seen the commercial for it. So just to brief you guys on what this apparatus is supposed to do, the air curler. You're supposed to stick little sections of your moist hair in the hair bucket and like the magic divine technology of the cotton candy making machine, it spins your hair in here like the cotton candy and it forms a perfectly quaffed curl in like 20 seconds. So like most of these things, I really hope that it does work and it sounds totally phenomenal if it does work, but I'm also incredibly skeptical. So I already assembled this little puppy and let me just forewarn you, some assembly is required. This took a good 45 minutes and I had to actually consult the instructions, which FYI I never do, but I actually had to look at the step-by-step -step diagram because it was a little scary. Let's just give it a go and see what happens. And I'm pretty excited. My hair is still wet. Wow. How was that? Was that sassy? I'm supposed to like evenly part my hair, but who does that? Uh, so I'm just gonna take a little section of my hair and this is gonna be loud, louder than me even. And I know that that's just not even really humanly possible. Okay, I'm gonna stick my hair in the bucket and turn it on. Okay, cotton, cotton candy magic. Oh, the novel. Uh, why aren't you twirling? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Is my hair still locked for this? Okay, you guys, this has been a terrifying adventure as I'm sure you could tell by my facial expressions. They make it look so fun and easy in the infomercials. Why are they always doing that to us? Ugh. Oh, I'm eating my hair now. My hair does not taste good. <laughs> So as I was saying before I started horrifyingly eating chunks of my own hair, I think maybe this might, might potentially work on somebody with shorter hair or like shoulder length. I really thought that that's what the hole in the bottom of the bucket was for, was for like people with longer hair so their hair could like escape and twirl through the longer bucket, but no, uh-uh. I got some of the shorter pieces of my hair to actually curl in there, but I mean, it didn't really form like an even curl like they show in the infomercial. It just like curled like certain pieces of my hair, but it's not really even a curl. I'll tell you what this does give you with some very fantastic tangles. This should be called the air tangler. Then it would be like, 
true story morning glory. I'm not feeling the cotton candy magic. But at any rate, this video was super fun to film. I'm super appreciative of whoever sent this to me to my Swamp Family mailbox because it's just, I don't know, I have fun with things like this anyway and it really like answers my curiosities of my late night infomercial watching. Maybe I'll try another infomercial product in the future and we can just keep going on through them, keep going on down the line till we find something that actually works. Like maybe the Aluma wallet. God, I've always wondered if I could actually like run over that thing with my car and if it really would work. I'm just gonna have to say that the air curler is very interesting and in theory it would be the greatest invention ever because I'm always wishing that my hair would curl itself. But I don't think that science is ready for that sort of thing. So I kind of have to say that this thing doesn't work at all. <laughs> or I'm stupid. Either way. No matter what, thank you guys so much for being here and thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. So if you're not subscribed already, please do. Hit that button. Become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.